Now set for former President Donald Trump's criminal trial, Trump is facing felony charges related to an alleged 2016 hush money payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. It marks the first time in history a former U.S. president has been tried on criminal charges. ABC's Morgan Norwood is in New York with the latest as jury selection comes to a close. The entire jury is now seated in the criminal hush money trial against former President Donald Trump after seating one alternate juror yesterday five others seated today. As Trump arrived at the courthouse in Manhattan this morning, he sounded off about the judge's limited gag order on the case, prohibiting him from making statements about witnesses, jurors, and individual prosecutors in the case other than D.A. Bragg. The gag order has to come off. I should be allowed to speak. Every time I come out to speak to you, I want to be open because we did absolutely nothing wrong. Inside the courtroom, Trump looking on as those prospective alternates answered the questionnaire one by one, with some jurors revealing loose connections to Trump and others surrounding the case. One woman who said her father was a friend of former Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie broke down crying during questioning, saying, quote, this is so much more stressful than I thought it would be. She was excused from serving. A jury of 12, seven men and five women have already been sworn in to decide the outcome of the first criminal trial of a former president. Together, the jurors will decide whether Trump is guilty of falsifying business records related to a hush money payment so voters in the 2016 presidential election would not find out about an alleged affair with adult film actress Stormy Daniels, which Trump denies. He's also pleaded not guilty. It really is a, as prosecutors have said, a simple kind of cut and dry case in, in their eyes. They believe that Trump falsified the records because his electoral prospects were going to be damaged if word got out about his alleged affair with Stormy Daniels, which he denied. But it's going to be up to the defense to try and discredit the witnesses on cross-examination, point out inconsistencies in their accounts. And there are several other pretrial issues that the judge in this case will need to take up. For example, how much the prosecution can cross-examine Donald Trump if he takes the witness stand. Once those matters are addressed, opening statements could begin sometime next week. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. He could get up to four years in prison if convicted, though it's not clear that the judge would opt to put him behind bars.